So in these type of questions, you'll be given a chemical reaction. In this case, it's a reaction of an alcohol with HBr to give a halogen or alkane. And you'll be able to calculate the number of moles that were used, in this case of the alcohol, the number of moles of the halogen or alkane that were made, and then a percentage yield. And as for all of these things, if you see a number in the rubric, in the question -y bit of the question, you need to make sure that you cross it out when you use it. That way, when you come to the end of the question, make sure you've crossed out all the data they've given you. So if there's a number you haven't used, you've probably made a mistake and there's probably some information that you haven't used and you won't have the right answer. So it says calculate the number of moles of the alcohol that were used. So the student reacted 4.4 grams of 2-methylpropanol. 2-methylpropanol is that compound there. The equation that you need, the mathematical equation, is the number of moles is the mass you have in grams divided by the MR. So the question asks us to calculate the number of moles. It's given us the mass, 4.44 grams, and we need to independently by ourselves work out the MR of the 2 methyl propyl monol. So to get us underway, I'll write down the mass of the 2 methyl pro the 2 methyl propyl monol. So that's 4.44. And you need to work out the MR, the molecular mass of your 2 methyl propyl monol. So to work out the MR, we need to calculate the number of carbons. So it's C12 because there's a 2 there, 3, 4, so it's C4, H. There are two CH3s, so there are six hydrogens, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And there's one oxygen. So to work out molecular mass, we say 4 times the mass of carbon, 12, plus we have 10 hydrogens. Each of those weighs 1. We get this information from the periodic table. And there is... One oxygen, which is 16. Add more together. And the MR is 74. So we say it's 7.44 divided by 74 is 0 0.06. Same procedure for the next part. It says calculate the number of moles of the CH32, CH, CH2Br that were collected. And the exam board have given us the MR. So we can say the number of moles. is the mass in the grams divided by the MR. The mass, we're told in the rubric, is 5.48. The MR, we're told in the rubric, is 37. Sorry, 137. If you put that in the calculator, the number you get is 0.04. Does it look sensible? Well, with all of these things, there's a certain amount of guesstimation, gut feeling. Those two numbers are similar. They're not the same, but there's not one that's a thousand times bigger than the others. And that's what you'd expect. It says calculate the percentage yield. Quote your answer to three significant figures. The important bit there is three sig figs. Okay. Two sig figs will not get you the mark. So how are we going to do this? So percentage yield is worked out by the amount you got divided by the max amount you could have got, or that times by 100. So, we're working out the percentage yield, and the percentage yield is related to your product, the thing that you got. So how many moles of product did we get? So these two numbers here, we're going to use them in a minute. So we got 0 0.04 moles of the CH3 twice, CH, CH2Br. But we actually started with 0 0.06 moles because we worked out in part of question one. So if you look, you imagine there's the imaginary one there that we always imagine in chemical equations and one there. On a perfect day, if the reaction would have been perfect, we would have started with 0 0.06 moles of our alcohol and we would have ended up with 0 0.06 moles of our halogen or alkane. But we didn't. We all ended up with 0 0.04 moles. So the amount we got of the halogen or alkane of the bromine compound is 0 0.04. The maximum amount we could have got if all that would have gone to completion 
0 0.06 times by 100, times by 100, and then what you get is 66.7.